Hey guys, it's CZRK here and welcome back to another tutorial on Ark Survival Evolved. In this episode, we are going to be showing you a detailed walkthrough of the giant bee cave here on the New Crystal Isles map. Starting off with the location of the cave, it is located at 31.2, 31.2. Very straightforward, it is in the bottom right corner of the redwoods map regarding the different entrances of the cave you do have five different entrances this including three side entrances the first one here uh, the second one right over here and the third one is a little hole over here then you have the ceiling entrance of course that is right in the middle of the cave you will see it with the giant orange crystals up here at the top passing by while you're flying by and if you want to include the underwater entrance as your fifth one you do have that as well because this does open up to the open ocean on the other side in this cave you can get most of your endgame resources this includes tons and tons of pearls and elementor which you can then turn into element at charge stations throughout the map tons of organic poly and giant bee honey if you want to tame anything like a bear or a roll rat starting off with your organic poly and the giant bee honey this is very easily uh, predictable you can farm these from these uh, giant beehives all over the place now regarding the bees they are not aggressive they will not attack you as close as you get to them however if you start attacking these beehives and farming your poly and honey they will start to attack you i will be telling you two different methods on how to farm your poly without uh, too much excessive death method one uh, your preferred tame is a giant dire bear this is because you do not get dismounted off of your mount when the bees start to attack you you do not get that debuff uh, as you would for any other dino in the game so you just come into the cave farm your poly as soon as the bees start to come and attack you get on your bear and start swiping 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 you should clear out the cave in a matter of seconds and that will be really easy the second method that i suggest is putting some sort of spawn very close by like a one by one with a bed in it and just fly over to this one by one with some sort of uh heavy weighted wyvern or something and bring yourself some sort of farming tool a chainsaw or a hatchet whatever you prefer come into the cave start hacking away all of that poly and just let the bees kill you whenever they manage to respawn come into the cave and you can drag your body outside this is because as soon as you die the bees do the aggro and it doesn't matter they do not care your poly will still be there of course this is my least favorite because you are a little bit exposed going in and out naked farming naked while your teams are outside but it is obviously up to you with that being said i will be telling you the best rated tools and dinos for farming these beehives at number one does come the dodickers the dodickers just gathers insane amounts of organic polymer however getting it in and out and uh, defending it is a little bit hard unless you're doing method one with the dire bear chainsaw will rank as number one with the best uh, melee gathering for organic poly however if you cannot farm this uh, hatchet will do just fine as well pickaxe will give you more giant bee honey regarding silica pearls and element you will want to make your way back here to the back of the cave where there is this little water entrance now where you see these green crystals just come over here to their left and you will find this cave entrance this cave is actually the way to your artifact of the depths i will leave an info card link at the top right of your screen right now check out that video if you are interested in all of your artifact locations now as you make your way down this cave you will find tons and tons of pearls however you will find yourself a bunch of creatures like eels and nadaria and stuff like that so bring your scuba with you as well now as i said keep making your way down this cave and you will find all of this element or nodes all around the place i suggest leaving a few battery turrets uh, at both entrances of the cave so that way people cannot just sneak up on you while you're farming with an anki underwater and some sort of uh, water weighted tame 
but as you can see you have tons and tons of elementor now this is quite a big cave and it's spread all throughout the cave now i will just keep swimming and show you the massive amounts of pearls that there are starting off here you can see millions these on the walls you can actually grab them as well and just it's insane like the amount of elementor and pearls that there are down here it's insane now i know that there are a lot of easier pearl spots around the map but like while you while you're down here farming elementor why not why not grab the pearls as well they're really not heavy and they're really not in a risky position if you have turrets guarding you unless you have other players guarding you or something like that regarding your elementor if you didn't know uh, pickaxe is the way to go on that one if you do not have an ankylo or uh, hatchet it just gives you more stone thank you guys for watching the video consider leaving a like subscribe if you want more of this type of content and leave a comment down below if i left anything out thank you for watching see you later guys